Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Barker Designs. I've got a 3D project for you today featuring the Kite Delight stamp set. I'm also showcasing the upcoming 2022 to 2024 Stampin' Up! In Colors. They come out May 3rd, 2022. Um, all of my projects this week uh, use one of the new In Colors. Today we are using... Um, Orchid Oasis. It's going to take me a while to learn these names. Orchid Oasis. This is Tahitian Tide. And this is Sweet Sorbet. All right. Now, what's inside, you ask? Well, let me show you. I have seen these at Walmart many times. And many times I just walk past. But this time, they stood out to me because it reminds me of our new colors. It's got that purple which is like our Orchid Oasis, and it's got the Tahitian Tide sprinkled there across. And then it's got kind of a pinky red, like our Sweet Sorbet. So I know it doesn't have a kite on it, but who cares? It matches the colors, right? All right, so we're gonna just make a little treat box to hold that yummy unicorn. Let's see, it's called a Unicorn Sparkling Strawberry Treat, or cake. Um, by the way, if you want to know where these are in your area, just look up the Little Debbie Snack Finder. Enter your zip code and it'll tell you what stores in your area. All right, you're going to need a piece of this beautiful Orchid Oasis cardstock that measures seven and three fourths by five and a half. On the long side, we're going to score it at one and a fourth and six and a half. This box is one and a fourth on all sides. So we're just making one and a fourth marks all the way across. Now on the short side, you're going to do one and a fourth two and a half, three and three fourths, and five. This right here, this half inch edge is how we're going to adhere our box together. All right, now grab your Orchid Oasis cardstock, and I need to grab a grid sheet right here. And we're gonna stamp this cloud all over. I'm gonna start right in the middle, and I'm just gonna kind of vary my clouds like this. Tone on tone stamping. Now, if you have a unicorn stamp, you could totally use that here. Same colors. You could use the cloud punch like we're gonna use. Same exact concept. Um, but I'm using the kite this week and I think the kite's really fun. I love the kite stamp set. All right, all the way down to the bottom. This section down here is the bottom of the box. I don't really think you need to do your clouds there on that side of the box. All right, grab your bone folder, burnish those lines. You wanna do this so that your box is nice and crisp and the sides will stand square. All right, now grab your scissors over here on this long side right here where we have that skinny tab. You're gonna cut off the rectangles on either end, okay? So just cut those off. And cut the corners off of that tab. Now just go in and cut on right in the center of each of these score lines. All the way till the horizontal score line. I'm turning it to the back because I feel like I can see it better without that, without all the clouds on it. All right, so that's what your piece looks like. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of tear and tape and I didn't, I didn't put my tear and tape long enough, it looks like. We'll add a little bit more. I actually have a little leftover piece right here. Like that. And then if you fold this in and fold this half over, they'll match up perfectly. Okay, so we've kind of got a long and skinny box. Now on the bottom, first let me point out, here's where we joined the seams. I want that to be at the back. I don't want that to be at the front. So now this is the front. This is the last one I'm going to fold in. I'm going to do the sides first and I'm just going to use my stamp and seal here for, for the sake of the video. I'm not real worried about things falling out, the adhesive not being strong enough because this little cake weighs close to nothing. There we go. All right, so there is our box. Let's slide in our little cake. There we go. 
And again, do the, do the sides first, okay? And then the back and the front. Now, we've got this gorgeous ribbon. This is our Orchid Oasis metallic edge ribbon. And I'm gonna tie it up the side like this to hold our box closed. Um, each of our new in colors all have their own ribbon, their own DSP uh, patterns, their own markers, their own Stampin' Blends. And if you want to collect all of them, you should join my in color club. You get some freebies each month and it's a fun way to collect all the colors. Okay, so there, that was easy. That box was really easy. We're gonna stamp our um, height in Memento, and then we're gonna color it in with that Sweet Sorbet. So I'm gonna do that right there on basic white. And then I'm going to uh, stamp my sentiment in Tahitian Tide. Let's color this in. I'm gonna start with my light sweet sorbet and just fill it all in with color. Ooh, that's squeaky. Sorry about that. Maybe you can't hear it, I don't know. All right, now I'm gonna go over with my dark and I'm just gonna draw a line on the inside of each of these squares. Okay, this is gonna give us some dimension an interest on our kite. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna just go back with that light and just blend it all together. Your Stampin' Blends are perfect for blending. Okay, easy, easy, easy to cut out. Just grab your scissors and it's just four straight cuts. Now for our sentiment, we're gonna use the cloud punch and I have a feeling I didn't do it. I should have stamped it lower. Do you guys ever do that? Oh, I didn't look ahead. I should have looked ahead before I stamped it. All right, now let's see if we can get that to fit in there. Right about like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my Tahitian Tide Baker's Twine. Each of our new colors also has its own Baker's Twine color. And let's grab um, a glue dot. And we're gonna put that right about there. And we'll put that, the end of that, right on that glue dot. Okay, and then grab your dimensionals. And let's put our kite right there. Now I'm gonna kind of make my my ribbon or my twine do that. I want it to kind of snake around and we're gonna cover this part of it up with a cloud punch. So I don't need to worry too much about these glue dots looking kind of funky. And actually we could have used our dimensionals on top of that instead of the glue dots because we're gonna use glue dimensionals for our cloud. Okay, your friendship is so uplifting. Isn't that fun? All right, last but not least, I've got some iridescent rhinestones. Let's see, I've got a new putty refill on my take your pick tool. Let's see how sticky it is. I'm just gonna grab a few of these and stick them. Just to add a little bit of bling to our project. And there you have it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure you jump over to my blog, grab that PDF, it's free, and check out the other two Kite Delight projects I have for you. Thanks, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.